Welcome to part 9 of the TensorFlow Object Detection API tutorial series. So, in this tutorial, I will be working with multiprocessing. In previous video, I was showing you how my TensorFlow Object Detection API is shooting on enemies, and we saw that our FPS is quite slow. So, I decided maybe a solution would be to make things work faster in multiprocessing. So, in this video, I will make a basic introduction to multiprocessing. This took me a while to learn of using this. I'll, I'll tell you everything in process. So I'll begin with second tutorial part where I was grabbing a screen and maybe I copy this and rename to part nine. And hit here, we won't need any more of this, and we'll rename this to 09.py. Later, I'll rename it. So, anyway, so we can run this and we'll see what FPS we're receiving. Oh, I deleted grass screen, we won't need any more it. So, for now, I can. Yeah, move it and this. So as you can see, we're receiving about close to 20 FPS and yeah, I thought maybe it's possible to receive more if we'll use multiprocessing because right now we are grabbing screen here and here we are showing the screen so maybe we can separate this whole code into two codes and run it in multiprocessing for example this part would always grab a screen and another part would always show a screen simply only show it so i'll remove this below screen this we don't need this anymore I'll remove in this code. Okay, and what we'll need is import multiprocessing. Thing like that. Yeah, and maybe we'll create uh, two functions. So we'll call it, for example, grab MSS screen and second would be so I think I'll divide this here so define would be show MSS screen and we'll measure here FPS, we won't measure it here, so I can also copy this because we will need this while loop and here you won't need this. So yeah, I think we have our main functions we'll use. Now we need to create it as multiprocessing. So this multiprocessing part took me a while to to find out how to do this because when using multiprocessing uh, every process has their own memory created. So it's quite it was quite difficult to make it shareable because this process should for example share pro his memory with another process and it was not possible to make it with global uh, variables local variables anything i can't make something like that like array <laughs> array and for example like this and to put all everything inside so 
it wasn't working so I tried many many things so okay and I'll just write what worked for me and we'll see how it works so I should write a function name equal to name I mean main when using multi-processing you, sh you must write it so uh, first we'll create a quick view where we'll put our all grab it screens into so multiprocessing I tried to write like this it's also possible but well I many times tried this and tried to find out what's wrong with this why it doesn't work for me and so on so yeah we need to write a little bit differently so if you write like this it won't work for you as as it will work for me because I'll write joinable like this so we are creating QS QQ and now we'll make a two processes so one of So first process will be just to grab a screen. So here I'll write a target equal equal to grab screen. And here I should write arguments. So I could write like this, for example. There will be our QQ go goes inside here. And right but to make it more understandable I'll write args equal to like this and we can copy right now this it's almost the same but here we'll use another function and yeah our arguments will be the same and here I'll start the function p2 and start I'll start p1 and p2 functions so now we'll start running uh, these two processes in parallel but now we need to make it to work with our data in qq so I'll uh, add some comments here what it does to make it be more beautiful when I'll upload this code to my github or my own page so now we, we what we want to do is always try to put what we grab the QQ so we should write put image there and but I found there is a faster way to do this and there's a command no wait but no wait so we are putting everything to QQ and here we'll use join so this means that we are waiting for this uh, process to finish not to access this QQ from here until it's processing so this is one of the main things because you can on, on the newest version if you use only QQ you can't join here and well, anyway it won't work for you doesn't matter it won't and here we'll work with another function so if not Q empty will do something so we are always checking if our QQ is not empty and 
why I used while loops here because when we start a uh, process we would like we want that it always would be running so it will be running only on a while loop because if we won't use while we we should always start and start and start for to this loop again again and again and now you only start it once and it's running so next is when our Q, uh, QQ is not empty we are trying to get everything from it uh, so we write get also there was no wait here we'll use also no wait I don't need this sorry for writing that and also here we wait that our task would be done so it waits for us uh, while we are taking our Im image from the key queue so I think it should be fine I'm checking it again and yeah we could test it out I think well anyway I can write what the what this line makes so creating multiprocessing kq it's simple and here we are sorry creating new processes and here is the line last line we are starting our processes quite simple so uh, I'm sure I'm not sure if there is no errors we'll try it out and keep in mind when you are using multiprocessing you can't Rust built in Python run module because it won't uh, show you uh, any values and any prints and will eat your process power. So we knew we should use common prompt. CD and here's only 09.py. So it's running. Let's see what we can receive. <clears throat> so what do you think? Is it good or not? It's faster. Before it was only 20 FPS FPS and right now it's what you can say 27, 26. I'm not sure because maybe I'm recording uh, before it was receiving 33 I can try to change one line and we'll see what what I can I'll comment this line and add it here okay So let's try it now. 24, 16, 28. No, uh, I think that this is because I'm recording right now a video, but at least it's much better. It's uh, around 30% faster than it was before. And yeah, I'm not sure if it's possible to make it more faster, but if you're interested, we can try to do that. But we let's go to our per first tutorial. I'll uh, grab screen. Let's check how it will work with this. Grab screen. I'll import few lines. Maybe I'll delete them later, maybe not, we'll see. 
but for now I need them. So maybe this will catch a screen faster. We'll see. I'll comment this. And I will need to comment this, I think, because it uses only one time. Yeah, I can turn it off. Let's go back to our tutorial. Run as administrator and I don't give many hopes to this, but let's see. 26, 26, 27. So yeah, it, it works faster, but well, I would prefer to use MSS library, MCC. It's also faster, but yeah, MCC would be fast, better for me. And I won't use grab screen because no, no improvement. So what's the reason to use it? Let's remove this. And yeah, I think there's not no other way to improve this thing. If if you're interested, I can try another thing. Maybe we can run this in three multi processes. But I, I'm not sure if it will work for us. Anyway, we can try. This is only a try, so. Anything could happen when I'm trying this. P3. So let's start our P3. So right now we'll start uh, this function two times. Well, I, I'll add one more. But I don't give a hope for this. This is only for interest reasons. Let's run our command prompt. CD Python. Eighteen. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. No improvement. So. It doesn't matter how many instances we'll use, but I was reading on internet that on Linux or on other operating systems you might get higher FPS because, well, different computers, different operating systems and so on, so different implementation of the library. Maybe. Maybe there will be more solutions to make it work faster, but right now this is the fastest way I could achieve. And yeah, I, th I think I'll try to use them this grab screen on my Counter Strike of the detection. And we'll see how it will work. So I have no ideas how to improve it more anyway. And this will be a good practice for everyone to use multiprocessing. Right now, I, I learned how to use multiprocessing in a week, so it's quite fun and quite useful. Maybe I'll use it more in future, who knows. So I think that's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below this video. If you like my video, smash up the likes button and subscribe my channel. Then you will get more of my videos. Text version of this tutorial and links are left in video description. Thank you all for watching. Good luck and see you in the next video. Goodbye.